The Express Quantum Treeless Control is the most advanced treeless technology available for VCL developers. This feature-rich component library helps you create stunning applications and deliver numerous advanced features to your end users without writing a single line of code. New in version 5 of the treeless control is the ability to create radio and check groups within the treeless items. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a new tree list, populate it with items, and finally add radio and check groups to the tree. So let's get started. I'll start with a new Delphi project. In the tool palette, I expand the DevExpress group and drag and drop a new tree list control onto the form. I set its align property to AL client so that it fills the available client area. Next, I need to enable support for check and radio groups. To do this, I select the treeless control, expand options view, and set the check groups property to true. Since this is a hybrid tree view grid control, I first need to create a column for my items. I right click on the tree list and from the context menu select columns to invoke the component editor. I click the Add button to create a new column. I select the new column and set its caption text to Installation Info. Now let's manually populate the control with some items so that check in radio groups can be created. I right click the tree list and invoke the Items Editor by clicking the corresponding menu item. Here I'll create a Products Root Level node and two Child nodes that correspond to Express Quantum Grid and Express Quantum Tree List. To allow the user to select multiple items simultaneously, I'm going to display checkboxes for the product child nodes. To accomplish this, all I have to do is click on any child node and select check group in the check group type combo box. You can see that the checkboxes are displayed for these nodes and are ready to be used. Now I'll add the supported IDEs for the Express Quantum Grid. As with the product nodes, I enable checkboxes for the IDEs to allow users to select multiple items. Now, if this was the UI for an installer application of some sort, I'd also want to separate installations between Delphi and C++ Builder. So to do this, I create a radio group for each IDE. And I'm finished with the Express Quantum Grid node. I can now test to see how the groups work right inside the items editor. Notice how the parent nodes keep track of child node states and automatically update their state and vice versa. In the same manner, I add child nodes to the Express Quantum Tree List node. This is not shown in this video since it follows the same procedure as demonstrated earlier. As you can see, changing a product node state selects all supported IDEs for this product. In some cases, this may not be the desired behavior. Therefore, I'll tweak the default logic and prohibit end users from changing a product node state. To do this, I select a product node and disable it by switching off the corresponding option. Now the node state can only be changed via child node states. I repeat the same procedure with the Express Quantum Treeless node. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. You can see the same behavior as demonstrated earlier. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.